Prostate cancer is one of the most common cancers in men, and yet it remains one of the most silent. Every year, hundreds of thousands of men receive this diagnosis, often at a stage when the disease has already advanced. In the United States alone, the American Cancer Society estimates that more than 280,000 men will be diagnosed this year, and over 34,000 will die from it. Those numbers are alarming, and the scariest part is that prostate cancer often develops quietly without obvious symptoms in the beginning. That's why early detection is the key to saving lives. But here's the truth many don't realize. Prostate cancer can give warning signs early on. The problem is, most men ignore them. They think it's just age catching up, stress, or something temporary. And by the time they decide to see a doctor, the disease may already be harder to treat. In this video, we're going to break down the seven most important early signs and symptoms of prostate cancer, starting from the less obvious ones and moving toward the most alarming. We're doing this countdown style, so make sure you stay with me until the very end, because the number one symptom is the most dangerous and most ignored of them all. Before we jump in, remember, this video is for educational purposes only and is not a substitute for professional medical advice. If you experience any of these symptoms, don't delay. See your healthcare provider as soon as possible. The earlier the diagnosis, the better the chances of a complete recovery. Now let's start our countdown of the seven early warning signs of prostate cancer. And make sure you pay close attention, because missing even one of these could cost you more than you think. 7. Pain or pressure in the pelvic area. Number 7 on our list is pain or pressure in the pelvic area. This is one of those symptoms that's easy to brush off. You might think it's just muscle soreness from sitting too long, working out, or even a minor strain. But here's the difference. The discomfort linked to prostate cancer often feels deeper, more internal, and it doesn't go away with rest or stretching. The pelvic area is located just below your belly button and above your thighs, and it houses the prostate gland, bladder, and other important structures. When the prostate starts to change due to cancer, even in its early stages, it can cause inflammation or irritation in the surrounding tissues. This can lead to a dull ache, a sense of heaviness or a pressure-like feeling that you can't quite explain. Some men describe it as a constant awareness that something isn't right down there. Others feel a low-grade pain that becomes more noticeable when sitting for long periods or when trying to urinate. The challenge is that pelvic discomfort can have many causes, from muscle tension to urinary tract infections to benign prostate enlargement. But here's the rule you should follow. If the pain or pressure lingers for more than a week, or if it keeps coming back, don't ignore it. It's worth getting checked out, especially if you're in a higher risk group for prostate cancer. Early on, this discomfort may be mild, but it's the body's way of waving a small red flag. Paying attention now could prevent a much bigger problem later. Six, changes in your urine stream. Coming in at number six are changes in the way your urine flows. One of the first ways prostate problems, including cancer, make themselves known is through urination. The prostate sits directly below the bladder and wraps around the urethra, which is the tube that carries urine out of the body. If the prostate becomes enlarged due to cancer, it can press against this tube and interfere with the flow of urine. You might notice that your urine stream is weaker than it used to be, that it starts and stops, or that it takes longer to finish. Some men feel like they can't fully empty their bladder, even right after going. Others have to strain to get the flow started. These symptoms are often mistaken for benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH, which is a non-cancerous enlargement of the prostate that's common with aging. And while BPH is far more common than cancer, the symptoms can be identical. That's why self-diagnosing is dangerous, the only way to know for sure is through proper medical testing. If you've noticed a gradual or sudden change in your urine stream, don't chalk it up to just getting older. Even if it turns out not to be cancer, there may be another condition that needs treatment. Remember, your body doesn't make changes for no reason. There's always a cause, and it's worth finding out what it is. 5. Waking up at night to urinate, nocturia. Number five on our list is waking up multiple times at night to urinate, a condition known as nocturia. Now, it's normal for many men, especially as they get older, to wake up once during the night to use the bathroom. But if you're waking up two, three, or even more times every night, it's a sign that something isn't right. 
The reason prostate cancer can cause nocturia is simple. When the prostate grows or changes, it can press against the bladder or urethra, disrupting the normal flow of urine. This pressure can make your bladder feel full even when it's not, sending you running to the bathroom over and over. The tricky part is that nocturia is also common in other conditions, from BPH to diabetes to sleep disorders. But the key here is frequency and persistence. If it's happening regularly night after night, it's time to get it checked. Many men dismiss this as just part of aging, but here's why that's dangerous. Waking up multiple times to urinate doesn't just signal a possible prostate problem. It also robs you of deep, restorative sleep. Over time, this can lead to fatigue, mood changes, memory problems, and even increase your risk for other serious health issues like heart disease. So, if nocturia has become your nightly routine, don't accept it as normal. Talk to your doctor, rule out the dangerous causes and protect both your prostate and your overall health. Four, burning or pain. During urination, number four on our countdown is burning or pain when you urinate. This is a symptom most men associate with urinary tract infections. But here's the thing, urinary tract infections are rare in men especially younger men, and when they do happen, there's often an underlying cause. One possible, though less common, cause is prostate cancer. When cancer cells begin to grow inside the prostate, they can irritate the urethra or bladder, leading to inflammation. This inflammation can make urination uncomfortable, causing a burning sensation, sharp pain, or a stinging feeling. Some men describe it as similar to passing razor blades, not something you'll easily forget. Of course, not all burning when urinating is due to cancer. It can be caused by infections, kidney stones, or sexually transmitted infections. But here's the golden rule. If the burning is persistent, returns frequently, or is accompanied by other symptoms on this list, you need a thorough evaluation. Pain when urinating is your body's way of telling you that something in your urinary tract is inflamed or damaged. Ignoring it means allowing whatever is causing that damage to continue. And if that causes cancer, every day counts in getting ahead of it. 3. Blood in urine or semen. Number 3 on our list is one of the most alarming and unmistakable signs. Blood in your urine or semen. In medical terms, blood in the urine is called hematuria and blood in the semen is called hematospermia. But here's the important part. Forget the medical terms for a second. If you see even a small amount of blood in either your urine or semen, it's not normal. This can happen because cancer in the prostate can damage nearby blood vessels, causing them to leak into the urinary tract or the ejaculatory ducts. Sometimes the blood is bright red, other times it's a brownish or rusty color. Either way, it's a red flag. While other conditions like infections, stones or trauma can also cause bleeding, you should never assume it's something minor. Even if the bleeding stops on its own, the underlying cause might still be there. And if that causes prostate cancer, waiting could give it more time to grow and spread. If you ever notice blood in your urine or semen, don't wait. See a doctor immediately. The sooner you know what's behind it, the sooner you can take action. 2. Persistent pain in the back, hips or thighs. Number 2 is persistent pain in your lower back, hips or upper thighs. This is often a sign that prostate cancer has progressed beyond the gland itself. When cancer spreads, one of the first places it tends to go is the bones, especially in the pelvis and spine. That's why these pains should be taken seriously. The pain from cancer spreading to the bones can start as a dull ache and gradually become sharper or more constant. You might notice it's worse at night when lying down or after being on your feet all day. Unlike muscle soreness from exercise, this pain doesn't really improve with rest or stretching. The challenge is that many men in midlife and beyond have back or hip pain from arthritis, old injuries or wear and tear. But if the pain is new, persistent and doesn't respond to your usual remedies, it's time for an evaluation. This is especially important if the pain is accompanied by any of the urinary changes we've already discussed. The combination could indicate something much more serious than routine back strain. 1. Erectile dysfunction or changes in sexual function. And finally, number one, the most overlooked and often most emotionally difficult symptom to talk about, erectile dysfunction or noticeable changes in sexual performance. 
Many men assume erection problems are just a natural part of aging, and in many cases that's true. But here's what most don't realize. The prostate plays a role in sexual function, and cancer in this area can interfere with the ability to achieve or maintain an erection. The causes are multiple, nerve involvement, reduced blood flow, or hormonal changes triggered by the tumor. Sometimes the change is subtle, erections that aren't as firm as they used to be, or climax feeling different or less intense. Other times it's more sudden and complete. What makes this symptom tricky is that men often keep it to themselves out of embarrassment. But when erectile changes happen alongside urinary problems or pelvic discomfort, the possibility of prostate cancer has to be considered. Remember, talking about it with your doctor isn't a weakness. It's a smart move that could save your health and even your life. These symptoms don't always mean cancer. They can be caused by other conditions, some less serious and some equally serious. But what matters most is that you don't ignore them. Your health is too important to leave to chance. Before you go, I want to hear from you. Have you or someone you know experienced any of these symptoms? What was the first change you noticed? Share your story in the comments. It could help someone else take action. If you like this video and want more tips on how to maintain your health, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications and share this video with your friends and family. Taking care of your health is a commitment we must make together.